Dr. David Bellinger is worried about what he calls the dumbing down of America. He studies the effect of chemicals on children's health and says that Americans have lost millions of IQ points due to exposure to neurotoxins. Children's brains are being affected by their chemical exposures and increasingly at lower levels than we had previously thought. You might be thinking, what are neurotoxins? And do I come in contact with them? Neurotoxins are chemicals that influence the brain, either in terms of its structure or its function. The chemicals that we know the most about in terms of their impact on the brain would be lead, methylmercury, arsenic, polychlorinated biphenyls, and the list continues to increase. How does this work exactly? It can affect the way different cells in the brain communicate with one another. The brain ends up being wired not quite as it should be. How are you able to pinpoint that the loss of IQ points is due to these chemicals? It is a challenging methodological uh, issue. We look at uh, the, the findings of multiple studies, and if they're all pointing in the same direction, then we start to have more confidence in, in the conclusion that the chemical is doing something bad to the brains of the children. If we know these chemicals are such a problem, then why do we still use them? These are not strictly scientific questions. Um, many of these chemicals have important economic forces that are advocating for their continued use. And these discussions are very contentious. Every time the Centers for Disease Control wanted to reduce the action level used to identify children with too much lead, they were sued. What? Lead and gasoline or the flame retardants. These episodes uh, reflect the same approach that has been used uh, for decades. We allow a product to be introduced into the marketplace and basically do an, a natural experiment on the population and on children. Oh. It's totally backwards. I mean, we should be screening products before they go into the marketplace for toxicity and so uh, that we don't put ourselves in this position of decades later finding out that was a very bad decision. It really affects people's lives, especially children. Up next, scientist Tracy Woodruff talks with Morley Safety about what you need to know in Buyer Beware.